Fans fouling their way into Chesapeake Arena here in downtown Oklahoma City as the Thunder look to get back on track and welcome the Los Angeles Clippers. Harris open in the corner, fires up the three, that one drops in. For Tobias Harris, he stormed out early on in the season, was the Western Conference Player of the Month in October, November. Now George finds Adams. Adams been living on that shot over the last couple of weeks, but George follows up the miss. Yeah, that's a good play by Paul George because all the defense went to see Stephen Adams. George on the hip of Harris. Doesn't matter. Paul George knocks it down. The Clippers continue to rely on that three ball. Paul George answers with a three of his own. Paul George lines up with the three ball and knocks down result. another three. Absolutely. And there's that balance we're talking about. Thunder 14 points in the paint. Now have knocked two down from deep. See what Paul George does here. And Stornwell's the defensive player. This time he gives it up, and Nerlens Noel knows exactly what to do with it. Okay, so he can shoot, he can dribble, and he's got eagle eyes, and yes, he can throw a lob. Cross court pass over to Gallinari. Trying to split Jeremy Grant, forced it up. Contact, no call. There's Paul George, stampedes ahead, wants the three, got the three. Third three of the game for the Thunder, two of them by George. Thunder stays down defensively. George gets behind the pack and soars for the flush. Slip pass into Adams. Trying to sidestep, Gallinari, he does successfully. And you don't need to rush your shot. If you just watch Steven Adams, just take your time, put it in a bucket. You're not worried about Gallinari blocking the shot. Grant, catch, fire three. That's going to be his wide left. Knew it as soon as he left to go, but now Grant got back defensively. Not only did he keep it from going to Gallinari, but he got it to George. Westbrook, wide open three. That is good. His first shot of the game, and it's a good one. A three to push the lead up to seven. Paul George, catch, fire three. He stays on fire. Another three for Paul George. Nobody hotter in the NBA. They're getting pressured in the backcourt by Bradley. Dips it down to Grant. Grant to the rim. Stays in the air long enough and got it up over Gortat. How did Terrence Ferguson know to step out like that? Is that the play or is that just a feel for the game? Speaking of feel for the basketball, another block and Adams in transition throws it down. Thunder with a 12-point lead. Four minutes into this third quarter. George goes at a couple of defense players who are walled up. Doesn't matter. I'll tell you, Michael, we, we, we talked about it in the pregame. This Clippers team does not have the shot blockers inside. Gortat's not going to be that kind of guy. And that plays into the advantage for the Thunder. George dances. Paul George lighting it up from the outside. Tickles the twine again from downtown. George, right down the pipe from downtown. And that's another big basket by Paul George. We're starting to say that with regularity, folks. Push that lead out to the largest at 15. Yeah, what do you want to see here from this Thunder offense to try to close this game out? Well, anytime you give the ball, the ball to Paul George, good things happen. His first shot in the fourth quarter. It's exactly who you want taking shots to try to close this one out. Into Paul George, immediately double team. The Clippers don't foul. Trying to get a five second call. Finally slipped it to Jeremy Grant, and that is going to do it. As George didn't panic despite the double team coming over. And just got that pass through into, into space. He did a great job of just maintaining his cool. And that'll do it. Scott's final shot. Ball inbounded, and it's the Thunder outlasting the Clippers to snap what was a two-game losing skid.